everybody. Welcome to Tabata. Tonight, it's going to be a 45-minute Tabata class. This is going to be all body weight, no equipment needed, necessary. Um, I've got the workout posted in the description, so if you need to look at it in advance, we're going to be moving really fast today. We've got a nice, fun warm-up to start, um, and then we're going to be doing a cool-down at the very end today. Our goal is to get through five Tabatas, so that's five rounds of four minute Tabatas, okay? So we're gonna be going back and forth between two exercises. Uh, make sure to have a water bottle nearby. Um, you really don't need any equipment other than a mat today. And again, some space to have in your room, okay? Again, my name is Kayla, this is Tabata tonight, guys. And as everybody kind of gets on, uh, we're gonna do a little bit longer of a warm up. I have a music link in the description if you wanna follow along with me, if you can't hear the music really well. I'll be telling you when to hit pause and play on that music so that you guys can listen to it loud in your home. So let's go ahead and get started as I've got a few people joining, which is awesome. Welcome, guys. I've got my space here. I'm going to start off with our warm-up, so make sure to read that over and make sure you're good to go, okay? We're going to be doing a little bit longer of a warm-up today. I want to make sure we're good. All right, we're going to start off marching in place. There you go. Make sure you got plenty of space. I've got my water bottle near me. All right, let's go ahead and start off with some shoulder circles. You can stand still or you can step side to side here. We're going to start big. Ooh, I'm ready for this Tabata today, guys. Good, take it backwards. Good, little circles forward. Nice and slow. Come on, you got shoulders burning. Stay backwards. Three, two, one. Let's add some reaches here. So we're going to reach and rotate that hip. Right now, you're not falling along to that length. That's for the Tabata music. Right now, you're just following this warm up. Good, we're gonna reach side to side now. So now you're gonna reach. Three, two, one. Take those feet a little wider than shoulder width. We've got squats here, chest up tall. Sink back in those. This is just the warm up here. <laughs> Trying to make it a little fun. If you're joining in, welcome to that warm up. Make sure you get it done. Three, two, one. You guys know I love my good mornings. Here we go. Feet underneath those hips. That back nice and flat here. Reach 
Good. Take that left hand underneath. I want you to take that left foot back. Go ahead and walk it and push it back into the top of the dog. Push your pedal down to your foot a second. Three. with me here. All right, remember, if you'll comment, guys, while you're here, I don't know why my comment section is so small all the time. I wish I could. I see someone's commented here. Awesome. Oh, hi, Kirsten. All right, guys. So I do apologize in advance. The sun always sets right in my balcony. So you guys will probably see it'll get really bright in here, really dark in here. Um, my lighting's not super great. So we're getting started with Tabata today. I'm gonna go over quick um, snippets on how to do both exercises, tell you what the modifications are, and we're gonna get going. This is gonna be hard today. Um, I've tried to pick some kind of creative and unique exercises, because I'm sure you guys are getting kind of um, repetitive with push-ups and squats and things like that. So have fun with it, keep your water nearby, um, and please modify on things like jumping motions. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot on our shoulders. If you need to take it easy, that is a-okay. So if you join late, make sure to do a warm-up. Well, let's get going. So uh, again, the, I've got a music link in the description, so we'll be hitting play on that at the same time together. Unless, of course, you wanna listen to your own music. First one are skaters. I'm gonna show you a nice, easy skater. It's gonna be a step with a tap back. Step, tap back. So this is if you're getting tired or you wanna take it a little slower to start today, that's fine. If you wanna get a little harder, it's a jump hover or a jump tap. You choose here, so I'm gonna be jump with a hugger, if you want to add that tap, but you're going to pump those arms, core is tight, and I'm watching those knees. That's the first one. Second one, get ready for this one, guys. This is going to be brutal. You are going to be, you're going to start in a plank, extended arm plank here, okay? So get that core nice and tight, and then you're going to push to downward dog, but when you push, you're going to actually reach your opposite arm toward your opposite toe, come back to plank, switch sides. So we're hiking those hips up, and we're reaching toward that toe. It's brutal. If that is too hard, you're either gonna hold an extended plank, or if you really wanna flip it over, you can't feel in your shoulders, you're gonna do an alternating toe breach, okay? So you're still getting those abs firing, but you won't be on those shoulders. So let's do this together. I want you to click that music link. Again, this is if you're following along with me. Uh, this worked pretty well last week, because I know it's kinda hard to hear my music, okay? So, we're gonna hit it at the same time together. <laughs> so get ready. All right, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and hit it. So there's gonna be a brief introduction here. We might be a second off, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna start off with those skaters. I want you marching every time you're not working during those 10 second breaks. Get ready. Two, one, here we go. So remember, you're either jump tap, step tap, or jump hover. Three, two, one. Good, stop. So again, if you're just a little off, that's okay. We're going down to plank. We're gonna push up to that downward dog. Get ready. Three, two, and go. Reaching for that toe. You don't have to touch it. Woo! I'm not squeeze those abs here. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest. Stop. Bring it up. All right. I want to see that energy, guys. Come on. It's Monday night. Let's get it going. Three, two, one. One. And here we go. One. Two. There you go. Come those on. Chest loud and proud. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. All right. So remember that modification is alternating toe touch. Three, two. Four. 
three, two, one, rest. hit pause and then I'll tell you I pause right at 413 so scroll on the video make sure you're right at 413 so we can start the next round together um you'll find that I'm going to be breathing really heavy on a little apartment and I've got the AC on but the sun just makes it super hot in here um all right guys nice job on that first round moving on to Tabata 2 so grab your drink right now um I'm gonna get explaining this next one's pretty hard so please again modify as you need so First one, again, read along in the description if you need, is gonna be a reverse lunge with a knee lift. This takes some balance and some coordination. So I'll have some, some suggestions here, okay? So core tight, feet are gonna start next to each other. You're gonna take it back into a reverse lunge. You don't have to tap the floor here. You can hover, but you want this front knee behind your toes. Then when you come up, you have two options. The hardest is gonna be going right up to that knee drive and then right back to that lunge. Knee drive into that lunge. If you need to make it a little easier, you're gonna step, knee drive, step, lunge. So I'm taking a break between those movements, okay? Same thing goes, you can come up here, step, and then restart. Um, if you wanna just do the reverse lunge, that's also okay. Second one is an up-down plank. Um, these are gonna be in place of push-ups today. So I'm gonna show you guys front on here. We're gonna be in a forearm plank. Um, if you need to modify, you're on your knees, you want to go harder, you're on your toes. So how this is going to work, we're going to start with our dominant arm the first time. So I'm going to say, you're going to go up, up, down, down. So again, that's coming down to my forearms here. My hand, I don't want out in front of me, I want it underneath that shoulder as I press up. And I also don't want that butt in the air. Make sure you're alternating arms to start off. Getting you need to modify? Hold that forearm plank, okay? So, take your last step if you need. We're about to hit play together. Make sure you're at 413. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Hit play. Gonna take a second. All right, so I'm gonna start with my right leg. We'll do one leg the first 20 seconds, then we're gonna switch, okay? So, start with my right leg here. Make sure you got your balance. Hold on to a wall if you need, okay? Alright, right leg. We're gonna take it back into a knee drive. Squeeze that cheek. Balancing on that left leg. Woo! Remember, add that step in between if you need to modify. 
831, grab a drink. Again, I wish I could see a little bit more of these comments. Uh, comment if you are participating or if you do this workout later, I greatly appreciate it. All right, it's about around three if you're following along with me. Um, this next one involves jumping. If you're on a second floor of a building, um, of your home, or you can't do any jumping, I do have a modification, okay? So, the easiest way to remember this, because sometimes I could lose the coordination of it, is going to be a squat, and then you're going to jump in, and jump out to that squat. So jump in, jump out to that squat. When I'm squatting, we're being careful that when we squat out, we're not leaning forward here. I'm actually sinking back in my butt, okay, in my heels. Um, if you can't do the jump, you're going to squat in, Step in, half squat, step out, full squat, okay? It'll still work those quads, but slow it down just a little bit for you. Second one, uh, swimmers. So we're gonna be on our bellies for this one. And on this swimmer, it's really important to find what works best for you, okay? So on the swimmer, 
my glutes are fired, and I'm going to be swimming my legs and arms. So my glutes are firing, my neck is neutral, and I'm going to hold that for 20 seconds. If that is too hard, you're going to do Superman. So you're going to lift up, but then you'll get to rest for a second in between. So real important, let's uh, watch your form on that one, see how you guys feel, okay? All right, let's get through this. So again, I'm at 831. We're going to get ready to press play in three, two, and one. All right, remember, you choose if you want to jump. We're going to start out into a squat, then we'll come in. This is going to be tough. Get ready. Two, one. So squat, jump in, out. Nice and light on those feet. Again, slide it on over. Let's see. 
wish my comments were coming up bigger, guys. If you're saying hi, welcome to joining the class. <laughs> All right. The good news is you can do this after. So if you miss any part, you can uh, finish it up. Moving on to Tabata 4, we're making awesome time. You want to have these one-minute rest breaks after to grab that drink and to let that heart rate go down, okay? All right. Next one is on the floor the whole time. I wish I could say it was easy. It's not. <laughs> Again, I picked some complicated moves today. So please, please, please modify as needed. You got to listen to your body. Um, I know we're all feeling more aches and pains from sitting at home all day long. Okay, we're not moving as much. So the next one, you guys have done plenty of glute bridges with me the last few weeks. So they can get repetitive, just like push-ups. We're gonna do glute bridge marches today, okay? So I'm on the floor, I'm gonna flip, it is too sunny that way. I'm on the floor here, feet are underneath those heels. I'm gonna kinda lift up my toes here, relax my head on the floor. We'll start in that bridge. So I don't want a hyperextended bridge here. I want those abs tight, nice straight line from shoulders to knees. Glutes are firing. Now from here, you're gonna alternate. You're gonna lift one knee in toward your chest, set it back down. Knee in toward chest, set it back down. So you wanna have good core control here. If this is uncomfortable to you, you are gonna fire it up with some normal glute bridges, but you're gonna give me a really big squeeze on those glutes, again, making sure not to overextend. That's the first one. Good news is you're gonna have longer rest because we're not going from standing to the floor this time, but this one's hard. So, already forewarning, this is on your wrists, um, so I will have a modification if you cannot do this. Wrists are gonna be underneath shoulders where you're gonna lift up to crab position. So my bottom is off the floor, my hands are on your shoulders, and we're gonna do opposite hand, opposite foot. So take this slow if you need to practice. I'm gonna reach up, Toward that toe as I extend it, set that hand back down, reach. This is tough, guys. You're gonna be kicking up using those abs. If that hurts your wrist, your shoulders, um, or you feel off balance with the reach, you are down on the floor, star position. And when we go, here we go, opposite arm, opposite leg, reaching up here for an alternating V up. Um, this can also be done with your back flat on the floor and just reaching up toward that toe. Super important to listen to your body here. Um, I know I even, uh, you'll see me modify today. I've got kind of an injured shoulder this week. Um, so please listen to your body, okay? So again, my time, if you're following along music, is at 1248. So make sure you're scrolling there and we'll hit it in three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, it's gonna finish up. We're gonna get into our next position. Lips are up, firing, toes are off the floor. We're gonna alternate the whole 20 seconds. Look up at the ceiling, okay? It does look firing. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. We're gonna bring in one knee, we're gonna pause, and switch. Abs tight.
three, two, one. one. right at 17 minutes. All right. I love how many of you guys are joining. Remember, if you're joining in late and you've already missed part of the class, um, I will be posting this right after. So you can do it today, tomorrow, whenever it works for you, okay? We are on to our last Tabata today. That's all we've got time for. This one's, uh, it, the first exercise is tough. Second sec exercise is meant to be more of a break. I'll show you how you can make that harder, okay? Um, I'm sure you guys already read it. Last round, we have burpees on the first one. Lots of modifications for burpees. Don't let that freak you out. Don't leave just because of the burpees, okay? So on the burpee already, if you have like a couch or something near you, modify with the couch, okay? Now you guys can't see my face here too well. You can just reach or jump. Hands are coming under our shoulder. You can jump or step back and then come back up. If not, you're all the way down on the ground. So I'm gonna jump up. Hands are gonna come underneath my shoulders. Now you have a couple options. You can jump to a plank, back up, reach. You can come down at a push up here, come back up, or you can go all the way down chest to the floor and then roll up, back up top. Super tough. Um, if you don't wanna do any of those, you can also do inchworms. So that's gonna just be walking about plank and walking right back up. Second one are calf raises. I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with these. I want feet underneath those hips. We're going to change our direction, okay? So we'll start off toes forward, lifting up, squeezing those calves. Next time we'll have you guys go out in your toes. Third time we're going to go in and we'll finish like normal. If you'd rather do pogo hops, that's light on your toes, little jumps, okay? Um, just on those though, you won't change the direction. So you guys will notice, um, I will be modifying myself on these because my shoulder's kind of bothering me a little bit this week. So please modify yourself, make it fun. If you need to do squats again instead of burpees, that's completely fine. So last round, then we've got some good stretching to do together. Let's hit it hard together, okay? All right, guys, so I'm at 17 minutes here. Get ready to press play in three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, burpees are first. Come on, get excited for them, as excited as you can get on this Monday here, okay? So remember, inchworm, burpee, you can have a push up, have fun with it. Two, one, let's go. And add a clap over your head. Three, two, one. Yes. Now that calf raises, gonna give us a little bit of a break. Remember those hips come forward. Three, 
two, there we one. go. Catch your breath. We're going to pull around the burpees, pull around the cat legs. Remember, if you want to make it harder, you're doing Coco Hump. Three, two, one. Relax. Rest. All right, I'm going to show you guys inchworms for those of you who need a modification here. Three, two, one. Four, two, one. music. Make sure you've got plenty of space in the room. Um, I'm going to do a full five minutes of stretching today. If you can't make the full five minutes, make sure to do part of it or at least some later. Uh, comment if you did the workout. Appreciate it or like at least comment or like uh, the post. That's fine. Um, all right, guys, we're going to start off the stretching on the ground. Let's start off on our stomachs here. So we're going to start off on our stomach, hands underneath those shoulders. We're going to slowly lift up to cobra. If you need to, you can also be on your forearms. Take it back to child's pose here, reaching those arms forward. Walk your hands to the right side. Take your left arm over your right hand. Walk over other side. Walk it back. Thank you. 
and my third spot. Move my back is nice and flat here. Good. You can gently rock if you need or just hold that position. Good. Let's slowly walk it back up. We're going to bring those knees together. I want you to take your right leg forward into a lunge. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm, it's really bright in here. <laughs> take that, you're going to slowly push that left hip forward, feeling that stretch down your quad and hip flexor. If you want to reach your arms up, you can. And then I want you to sit back toward your heel, reaching and extending that right leg, reaching toward that toe. If you can, if you need to be up a little bit higher, that's fine. Good. Bring it back to center. We're going to switch legs here. So now left leg forward. We're going to feel that stretch in the right leg. Again, make sure not to lean too much here, guys. We're just pushing that hip forward. Add that reach. Good. Take it back toward your heel, extending that left leg, reaching toward those toes. Bring it back to your knees. We're going to take hands and reach those shoulders. We're going to push back to that downward dog. That we started with. We're going to feel that stretch in your calves for a second. And I want you to take your right leg back. You're going to pull it through underneath the chest. And you're going to slowly bring it down to the pigeon pose here. If you can, you're going to bend your forearms. If you need to be a little higher or use a pillow, you can. When you're ready, you're going to slowly come out of that stretch. We're going to bring it to a standing position, and I want you to bring it next to the corner of a wall. If you don't have one near you, not a big deal. I'm just going to show you guys this stretch here. So we're going to stretch out our chest and our shoulder. I want you to make a nice 90 degree pose here, opening that arm up. You're going to come to the side of that corner of the wall. Elbows are going to lie with your shoulder, or our our hand is flat into the wall here. Nice little lunge position, and I'm going to gently push back forward. So I'm feeling that stretch on my left shoulder and chest. Good. Relax. We're going to bring that right arm up 90 degrees. Switch sides in that corner. Again, elbows in line with your shoulder. Lunge position. Good, slowly relax. Go ahead and take that left hand on your hip. We're going to do a slight reach over to our side. Good, bring it over right hand onto your hip, reaching over. Stand nice and tall. Let's push those palms forward here. Reach them up to the ceiling. Lengthen through that spine. Tall as a tree. And then if you can, we're going to take those hands behind our backs. Interlace those fingers. Pull those shoulders back. You can lean forward slightly if you'd like. Slowly relax, right elbow's coming behind your head. We're gently pulling that elbow back. Wow, 
Relax that arm, switch sides, left arm back. And last thing together, guys, don't want those feet underneath your hips, knees are slightly bent. We're gonna do two deep breaths together, okay? As we reach down to the floor, you can have your hands toward the floor, toes, shins, or thighs, depending on your ability, okay? So I want you to take a deep inhale through your nose, reach up to the ceiling, and we're gonna exhale, slowly sweep it down toward the floor. We're gonna hang out here for just a second. One vertebrae at a time, slowly bring it back up. You're going straight into a big inhale. And exhale again, find your comfort zone, your thighs, shins, or toes. And relax. Thank you guys so much for taking my Tabata class today. Please comment if you did the class. Um, sorry, I went over two minutes here to do some stretching. It's super important. Uh, if you guys have a foam roller at home, um, foam roll your quads and your maybe your calves. Um, it's going to definitely help you out. Uh, if you're prone to any low back tightness with everything that's going on with working at home um, and stress and all that, take a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball on uh, either side of your spine there against the wall and take out some of that pressure. Uh, reminders, we got the plank challenge going on this week. If you guys want to join that, plenty of group exercise classes to join me and Lori. Um, again, my name is Kayla. If you're doing this on YouTube or Facebook, just comment or like letting us know you did it. Um, and thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your week.